Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on identifying the electron added or removed to form an ion. We did an example like this earlier that was quite easy, I think. Um, if you're going to look at hydrogen, hydrogen simple. Uh, hydrogen is in group 1, so if you're stealing an electron to make it positive 1, you'll steal it from the 1s. If you're adding an electron to make it an H negative, you would add it to the 1a, uh, 1s, so since it's already at 1s1, it would be in 1s2, no big deal. Bromine is equal, is easy also. Bromine here in group 7 is in 4p subshell. So if you're going to steal an electron to make it a Br negative, or I'm sorry, stealing uh, an electron to make it a Br positive, it would also be in the 2p subshell. And if you add an electron to make it like krypton, it's also in the 4p subshell. Okay, so that's, that's not a problem. Um, xenon is not a problem. Xenon, we saw, is at the end of the 2p. So if I steal an electron to make it, a, to make it like iodine, it'll be in the, in the 5p. But if I add an electron to make it like cesium, I have to go to the next row and go to cesium S plus or six, six S one. The weird one here is iron, because if you are going to, um, if you are a girl wanting a room, you're only wanting to to pay for the cheapest room. An electron only goes in the lowest unoccupied, um, the lowest unoccupied um, atomic orbital. It doesn't go into an expensive place if there's cheap rooms available. And if you're going to steal an electron, you're only going to steal the most expensive electron. They're not going to give you the cheapest. They're going to give you the most expensive electron. So they're going to give you the electron in the highest energy level. Because that way, the, electron, the, the subsequent ion is, is more stable that way. So whatever is the highest energy level, they're going to give you the electron from. And so iron is weird. So let's look at it. Iron is here. Iron is in the middle of the 3D subshell. So you would imagine that if you were to, um, to steal an electron, you would steal it from here and it would be like manganese. Okay. The problem is you don't because there is another higher energy level here in the 4S. Remember, a 4s has, is, um, is a higher su energy subshell than the 3d. So for that reason, when you, when you make ions in these transition elements, the, the, the electron configuration goes nuts. A lot of times you lose the electron from here. You would add an electron to here. That's not a big deal. So if you were to, to adding an electron... Uh, and you're in here at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3d6, you'd add an electron and it would be, just be like copper. No big deal. But if you steal an electron, you're going to steal the electron from the 4s. So your subsequent uh, configuration for an ion would be 4s1, 3d6. And that's weird. And that's why they're having this as a homework assignment. So let's go ahead and do these. Um, bromine is, if they steal one, okay, it'll be in the 4P. If they add one, it'll still be in the 4P. Okay, it'll be like Krypton. Xenon, if it steals one, it'll be in the 5P. If it adds one, it'll have to come up here to the 6S. And here's the iron. If it steals one, where's it going to steal it from? Okay, it'll have to, so if it steals one from the iron, it's going to steal it from here, from the 4s2, which is a, which is a higher period than the 3. Okay, so you end up uh, stealing it from the 4s. Where are you going to add it to? Okay, you're here. Where are you going to add it to? You'll add it to the 3d. So that's why it's a little wacky. Okay. I'm trying to help you, help you, help you. 